Uh, this is our uh, Hyperloop Expo. We're very happy with all of the showing from the alumni and our teammates that have come here today. Uh, we're about to have a presentation from our presenters, Peter and Oliver. A Drexel, right? The snooze you lose quarter system five or four courses, you hardly have time to do any extra work. So six months they have put in here is not the six months in a corporate environment. And what they have done is, I'm very proud of it. Tonight we'll be presenting to you Drexel University's design for the Hyperloop. For a Hyperloop to be effective, it needs to be fast. Faster than all forms of conventional public transport. It needs to be economically feasible, both to build and to run and it needs to be safe for all passengers uh, throughout their travel. These considerations formed every design decision that our team made. This is our vision. We decided to implement a pneumatic system. Now right off the bat, one of the biggest advantages of this pneumatic system is that unlike active magnetic levitation, this system requires no power. An air bearing generates a stiff pocket of air that allows two services to uh, move parallel with almost zero friction. This structure is capable of lifting 7,000 pounds with 60 PSI. We need compressed air. Uh, and I'm pleased to say that our compressor system is uh, one of the most unique and innovative parts of our entire pod. Where we've decided to use four reciprocating compressors. It takes an air moving around 200 miles per hour uh, and slows it down to around 10 miles per hour. Our pod is constructed out of carbon fiber, 33% uh, less dense, and 250% stronger than aluminum. In order to control our speed, we have three parallel braking systems, uh, which act in concordance to ensure that there is a smooth ride for the passenger. This mechanical braking system is a little bit like uh, landing gear on a plane. Uh, it uses an oleopneumatic strut, which is about to expand out to dampen the contact forces. That's a very ambitious goal, especially for a student organization. We have everything that we need to do to build this pod all we're waiting on is your support. Thank you very much. I'm so glad we came, totally unexpected. The, the presenters were surprising. It was as if they had been doing this for years. It's very well done, um, very professional. I am blown away. I'm standing here and I'm looking at the future. That's what this is. Tonight was phenomenal. I mean, from understanding the technology to how seamless it was to honestly how well Drexel was integrated from engineering to uh, entrepreneurship to business to the actual concept and articulating the design in a very concrete and digestible way. The fact that this is a project that appeals internationally around the world, it is not just something for uh, the United States. There are interested parties and countries all around the world and that'll take Drexel's name far and wide. Job well done by these students. My degree is in physics so I have some understanding of what's going on here. You guys you've considered everything. I mean I've looked into some of the little details, even the braking system, the safety factors, everything about it. They made it some highly technical ideas and practices understandable to laymen like us. Some people I work with could take lessons from your presenters. My experience at the Drexel Hyperloop Expo was amazing. It was great talking to all the alumni and all the sponsor, or potential sponsors out here and just get uh, garner up support. Some of them have offered to give us some advice uh, going forward. Uh, some have offered to give us uh, hardware and components to build the pod in the future so it's pretty exciting to see a lot of different people come over and tell us you know we're doing a really good job and to you know keep doing what we're doing. This cannot be stopped. You guys you're just gonna keep on going no matter what you're gonna do. So what we're seeing right now right here tonight is the birth of a whole new industry a birth of a whole new future that's just gonna change humanity forever. People are gonna look back on tonight and say these guys are the ones who did it. They had the future in their hands and they made it happen.